Alright, we are doing the catch up today. There is no Jade Xia. And so I finally found a, a, a partner that is a lot less irritating and a lot smarter. Anthony! Yes! I guess the big news is that your film won. Yeah. Okay, it's really won multiple awards before yeah. the Golden Horse, but yeah. it won uh, Best Actress. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm very proud of Singapore cinema as a whole. I think we have really matured. You know, we've come to a point where uh, we are making really, really strong films. I think some of the best filmmakers now are in Southeast Asia. I think some of the best are in Singapore. What I think now is missing, right, um, in the whole ecosystem, it's, it's the support from the public at large. At the end, when the film is made, um, it's so hard to try and get Singapore audiences to go into cinemas. I mean, how do you expect filmmakers to continue telling Singapore stories yes. if we don't even appreciate you know, those stories? We don't even want our stories to be told because it's very different when you look at the Japanese uh, audience or, or Korean audience. They really want their filmmakers, they really want their culture, they really want their stories mm -hmm. um, yeah, to be exported worldwide. Yes. They want this people is our to hear it. This is actually it. our voice. I think a lot of people, right, they are, it's still stuck in that phase whereby like, ah, local film is very bad. Yeah. You know, and I, I, because there's this pro progress, right? In the past, we really do have films that were really yeah. not that great. But we have matured and we have come to this point where yeah. we are making internationally acclaimed projects and, and I think it's time for us to, to see it and recognize it and give it a, another chance. Right? Okay, what's up? Hey, guess what? <laughs> I think a few days ago, we got the news that Taiwanese actor Godfrey Gao passed away while filming in China. To most people, um, to them, they don't really know how the industry works, the TV yeah. and film industry works, but like working crazy hours and not getting enough rest is, is actually quite the norm. It's quite common. Yeah. Um, actually, it's, it's getting slightly better now in Singapore. Much better, I would uh, say. Actually. But yeah. But even on my film, you know, like, I'll, I mean, even on my film, yeah. like, if you look at Yan Yan, you know, because there's a lot of hair and makeup, so easily, right, she was doing 15 to 18 hours oh, every day. No. <laughs> but talking about, like, you know, got free, you know, like, yeah. it's, I'm really saddened by the news, but I remember, like, the next day, my very close colleagues, they started to message me and they said, Anthony, you need to rest, you need to sleep. Because, because you're a workaholic, right? I'm a workaholic. I mean, even when I'm making my work, right? And also even now when I'm a promotional tour, like I'll fly to Japan, you know, I'll do a Q&A and then like, you know, do interviews uh, all the way until Siao. down to, you know, I rush to the airport yeah. and then land and then I'll keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. I used to also work that kind of hours, right? Yeah. Then, but because I have autoimmune disorder, there was yeah. a point whereby my body just shut down on me yeah. about like five, six years ago. Okay. So now, right, I always try and tell production that I only work twice to 13 hours max. People think I'm difficult and everything but I try and put my health first and I try okay. and explain to them as nicely as possible. Yeah. Maybe somehow we can put in practices that let I think, everybody have... I think like, it's very important mm. that we have the right turnovers. It's, it's very important that our cast, our crew have enough time to rest but it also goes back down to a budget thing. Yeah. See? So yeah. instead of like 20 days it needs to be stretched to 30 days yes. so that you don't pack as many scenes in yes. one day but exactly. in order for that to happen you need to have more budget so that you can pay people for more days. If audiences are not supporting, then it doesn't warrant the budget. Mm. Yeah, um, it's 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 difficult. London just had a terror attack on uh, the London Bridge. Right? Yeah. So I know you pay, you're based in London. Yeah, it's already um, one of several incidences yes. in the past couple of years, right? Of terrorist um, attacks, you know, stabbings happening in London, and I'm actually a bit saddened and worried about the state of our world. More and more society is polarized, even in Singapore. You know, yes. like, when, when I say even in Singapore, like, I was very shocked and surprised when, you know, like, sometimes I don't know why we like to play things along identity and national lines. Yes. I remember when Yo Yen Yen won, like, the Golden Horse, right? <laughs> and then, and then uh, people were happy for her and, and but then there were, there were others that were saying, oh, why are we celebrating? She's not Singaporean, she's Malaysian. You know, like, so what if she lives in Singapore for 20 over years, yeah. you know? That, it's that sort of angst, that sort of commentary, mm. which is uh, tearing society down. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere in the world, you know, it's always about me, 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 um, instead of like, us, us, us. Yeah. And I think it's very important that it's about community. Everyone has to feel like how we can better not just our lives, you know, but whatever we do 
it's gonna affect, affect everyone else. It's a bit idealistic, but I'm I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> that that yeah we will. You know, I, I think if people sort of like scrutinize wet season, you would see that. You know, like there's a lot of my own observations and my feelings towards um, Singapore in the past. You know, five to ten years and. Yeah, I'm really hoping that we'll be a kinder and more compassionate place. Yep. Okay, lastly, something lighter, finally. <laughs> Very heavy today's topic. Uh, okay, so there's this news, right, that says China has a great increase in appetite for durian, and that has made all the prices of Thai durians in Thailand like a lot more expensive, and uh, durians are a lot less accessible. Um, and now they're not just going for Thailand because we all know, right? Like yes. Thai durians are not as good, which yeah. is why we always buy Malaysian durians. They don't durians. know that yet. Yeah, but now apparently a lot of uh, Chinese companies and investors are buying up plantations even in Malaysia. Yes, yes. I actually shot a durian documentary in Malaysia. Oh my god! And they are yeah. not supposed to um, basically ship durian over, like, and, but they are still shipping it illegally, uh, and they are like fast freezing it and then shipping it over. Yeah. So it actually concerns us very directly. Because yeah. we currently in Singapore, we have the best durians in the world because uh, all the durian yeah. plantations are not us. Not that we grow it, but, yeah, we, don't grow it, but we, we have, I think because of the demand, the... right? And also we have read a quiet taste. At some point, yeah. our Mao Shan Wang and yes. our D24 and all that is going to like yes. go up like yes. significantly. And, and once, they, once they take that and they're willing to pay 5-10 times the amount we are paying, we can almost be sure that like this cheap accessible durian during the season is going to be over. Yeah, I'm it's not very even sad. I'm not even sure it's that cheap, you know. Durian has never been cheap to It's relatively with. cheap. Yeah. I was still say it's never yeah. been really cheap, but it's yeah. relatively and yeah. it's going to be a lot more expensive. I tell you, I see it in like a minimum a maximum of a 5 to 10 years period. So enjoy your mouse on what you have. Uh, lastly, come on, do a last plug for wet season. Uh wet season is in cinemas now. It's um, it's a film that a lot of people, including myself, the actors, you know, cast and crew, have put in so much into. I think when you watch the film, you might you might like it, you might love it, you might not like it that much, but you you know you feel the sincerity and the hard work that that goes into this. I watch it. I really really like it. Sincerely, I've never been more proud of a local film. I've, it's so close to. I think our hearts, and it's it's something that we can really be proud of. Please just go and watch it. I really really liked it. Yay. Yeah, that's all. Bye. Jade, don't come back. Uh. Please, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Bye.